Greetings, everyone. Smartphones' responsiveness is a basic and key metric used to determine user experiences. However, unresponsiveness continues to bother Android users today. My name is Hao Ling, and I'm here to take you to a quick tour of our work towards understanding unresponsiveness problems of Android in the wild. Poor responsiveness, as almost all Android users may be familiar with it, impairs the productivity, satisfaction, and engagement of users. Unfortunately, despite tremendous efforts made over the years to turn the tides, poor responsiveness is still prevalent on Android. Among all kinds of unresponsiveness, application not responding or ANR and the system not responding or SNR are the most disruptive. Both of them are triggered when response timeout occurs to an app or system thread. When an ANR occurs, a system dialog will be displayed asking users to either continue wait or kill the app. If an SNR happens, even a system itself will be forced to restart. None of these scenarios is acceptable to common users. Unfortunately to date, we know little about ANR and SNR's prevalence, characteristics, and root causes due to a lack of large-scale measurement and analysis on real-world smartphone usage. This hinders communities' practices toward bettering user experiences. To bridge the gap, we carry out the first large-scale measurement study of ANR and SNR in the wild. To this end, we first build a continuous monitoring infrastructure based on a customized Android system called Android Mode. Android Mode provides institute visibility into system data that the vanilla version cannot provide, such as information of critical system services, while adding negligible runtime overhead. It covers three major Android versions from 7.0 to 9.0. We invited the active users in Xiaomi's smartphone community to participate in our study by simply upgrading their systems to Android mode. For three weeks, over 30,000 users opted in and collected data for us, involving 15 different models of Android phones. During the study, one of the most concerned problems we hope to answer is, is it true that better hardware can actually improve responsiveness? which is often suggested by users' intuition and the vendor's propaganda. Surprisingly, we find that there are no correlations between hardware configurations and the prevalence of ANR and SNR. Also, better hardware even appears to aggravate SNR. For the newest OS, we find that there are less ANR but more SNR. All these clearly indicate that software might be the key to the problem. This understanding drives us further to ask what are the root causes of ANR and SNR, which is critical to uncovering optimization opportunities. To this end, we build an automatic analysis pipeline based on weight for graph and similar stack analysis to assist pinpointing the root causes in our large-scale dataset. As a result, we locate four major root causes and surprisingly find that the largest root cause which we call the pathological write amplification mitigation in Android, can in fact be fundamentally eliminated. This fraud mechanism in Android is originally designed to mitigate a specific problem in flash storage called write amplification. However, its special synchronization characteristics leads to the performance impacts on system and apps. To counter this problem, compared to the aggressive real-time WAM in Android, we devise a practical on-demand WAM that executes in a batch manner, driven by monitored file deletion amount and system states. We patch our device WAM to Android mode and release it to 14,000 opt-in users. As a result, 32% of ANR and 47% of SNR are reduced, incurring only 3% data write speed loss, and almost all the WAM incurred ANR and SNR are avoided. Currently, this design is further adopted by five stock Android systems and even vendors other than Xiaomi, benefiting around 20 million users. Well, that concludes this quick tour. If you have further questions regarding any technical details, don't hesitate to ask them. Thank you.